<coughs> oh man. I wonder if you can see that. Oh, the haze, the smoke. It's bad, guys. It's pretty bad. But that's not why you're here. We are uh, off on another trip. <laughs> As I almost tripped down the stairs. Um. I have been requested to whoa, welcome back to the studio, Ryan Bloodshot Airbrushing, um, to paint a dragster, a dragster, pretty cool, um, different though, not your typical kind of dragster, guys, this one is actually meant to be, it's fiberglass body, <laughs> pretty much all of them are, um, but it's meant to be a 57 Chevy. The Bel Airs of the yesteryears, the beautiful, come on, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. But the car has already been painted. Uh, it's a beautiful blue, just like back in the day. Um, but we can't put steel bumpers on these things. The reason why they have fiberglass bodies is because these things need to be light. Because they go down the speedway at supersonic speeds. I think he's, I think he's cresting seven, seven nines. <laughs> Quarter mile, pretty cool. So, that's where I come in, guys. I will be painting some chrome, faux chrome bumpers. Um, too bad we didn't have that actual chrome paint. That stuff looks pretty cool. Never worked with it, but it looks pretty cool. Um, nope, uh, we're gonna have to mask this off, spray it white, and then I will come in and make it look like chrome. To the best of my ability and uh should be kind of a neat one guys something a little different for the bloodshot studio i know all of you rc heads have been waiting for me to paint a car here's your opportunity it's a little bit bigger than anticipated but hey same sort of styles it's just a body gotta paint it the same way but bigger <laughs> so just condense it shrink it watch on your phone instead of your big screen it'll look the same Alright guys, um, this is like on the other side of the city, the city's kind of encased in smoke, uh, this is one of those things where, you know, we live real close to the mountains, guys, and these wildfires, well, you know mother nature, she giveth and she taketh away, so this is just part of her cleansing process, it really does suck for those who have their houses and their homesteads and their lives in the way of the process of her doing her deal but uh kind of one of the nice things about the city too but we're always reminded guys this haze in the sky ah my heart goes out to those that are affected um especially the squirrels all right guys i'm gonna get on my way get the best i can out of this day um so come along for the ride and we're heading on down to ross custom paint to paint this car in their booth on their dime so we're going to have to get this done in a relatively short amount of time. <laughs> Ooh, look at that smoke. I guess you can't really tell. It's hazy. Man, those fires ain't even close to us, man, but we feel it. All right, guys, we are at the shop. Ross Custom Paint. Let's fly on in and meet the crew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, my elm. Oh, so these guys do everything from restorations to just full on paint. All right, guys, we are here with Mark, the owner of Ross Custom Paint. So tell me, Mark, how long have you been uh, Rossing it up at the Custom Paints universe? Well, our, our business has been going for 10 years and uh, we've been in this location for two. Nice, yeah. nice. So, what would you consider your speciality? I, I like uh, the custom cars. Uh, Restorations, like restoration, or? For sure, yeah. yeah. Paying your bills, though? That's important, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really important, yeah. Sometimes it's tough. I know with restorations, they take forever, and you kind of have to push in just the 
insurance jobs, the odd claims here and there just to make the bills. Yeah, it's Calgary's an expensive place to <laughs> It is, it's an sure, expensive so, place yeah. to live. But it's, uh, it's been really fun, so. So tell me about this car that we're working on today. Um, the whole paint system I know has changed. Your things are kind of gone out the door for, well, safety reasons they yeah. say. But uh, what do you think of the whole waterborne system? You like working with it? Uh, to be honest, that when I first started, I uh, was really uh, I didn't like it at all. It was really hard to get used to, and and uh, but now I, I wouldn't I, I love it. I wouldn't go back to the old way. I think it's a it's a lot more user friendly than the old solvents were. So I believe that too. Um, I've noticed though the metallics they just don't seem to hold up the same as the urethanes. Do you find that? The old, old ones. Yeah. yeah. Before they put the VOC laws in, the old, like, uh, old RM, old DuPont and, and Glazerit and, and they, I mean, they were all, they were all a lot different. They were hotter, hotter uh, solvents and different pearls. The waters now more replicate or are able to, to, to do the colors that the old um, solvents could do. Uh, the new VOC, low salt, low VOC, Solvents I don't find are, are very good. The, the metallics and pearls are a lot different. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Yeah. But we do what we can. So uh, today we're painting a race car? 57 Chevy race car, yeah. Pretty crazy, dude. Uh, what color are we doing it? It's uh, Robin's Egg Blue. And then I'm going to come in and splash some chrome. So we'll mask it all up today and then I'll get uh, Mark here to spray some white and I'll come back in the morning and we'll knock out some chrome. Cool. Where can people find you? Uh, Calgary, Alberta, 4451 61st Avenue Southeast. Social media? Uh, yeah, Facebook, for Ross Custom Paint, uh, Instagram as well. Cool guys. Yeah. Check it out, check him out, and we're gonna get to doing some work. All right. Lots of neat little things in the shop here, guys. It's, uh, all about restorations, custom paint, lunchroom, <laughs> and look at some of the whips they got in here, guys. Check it out. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a nice, nice one when that's done. Looks a little familiar. Hmm. Oh man, look what they got up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some beautiful whips, guys. Beautiful rides. And uh, you gotta check out this one. Let me flip you around. Check it out. Signed by the man himself. Ah, oh, yeah. Priceless. And here we are, guys, in the booth. Check it out. Front grill, rear bumper, and we got some side flares to do as well. Guys, it's crazy hot. It's like plus 30 here in town. I want to get to work. <laughs> Check it out. All right, first things first, guys, the reference. And this is what the customer brought me. This is another dragster that's been painted pretty much the same. Um, I think the grill was a little bit spaced apart too wide, but I did like what they did with the headlights, so we're gonna play with that. And then I pulled off some reference myself, some of the real deal, the actual cars, the actual chrome, great reference to build off of. And this is how we're gonna get her done. But the first thing we gotta do is mask out and save the blue. Now he's got some actual tail lights that he's gonna be plugging in there. So those don't gotta be sprayed. But this whole area, fins included, all has to be masked so we can spray a white. And we've got the trim going on there, starting on the front, moving all the way back into the fin. Oh yeah, we got our work cut out for us. And uh, the first thing I like to do when starting a piece is to make sure it's good and clean. 
Sharpening up my water-soluble pencil, easily wiped off with a little bit of water, doesn't stain, doesn't leave a mark. And this is how I measure everything out with my Taylor's measuring tape, having a good look at the reference as I go, always referring back. And once my measuring is done and my water has been delivered, it's a hot day. And I start masking it out with my pinstripe tape, making sure that these lines are nice and straight. If you got to pull it up, pull it up, but make sure it's nice and straight. And then with your handy X-Acto knife, cha-ching, just trim those corners ever so carefully. Same goes for the beauty rings around the headlights. Now we had talked with the customer about me painting the headlights. He actually has some stickers he's already purchased. So it's gonna be a time factor. If I've got time, then I will paint them. If not, well, I think you can guess the rest. Um, I have a limited amount of time in the booth here, so we will have to see how she goes. Cause nobody knows. Now once the front's done, we're gonna move on to the side and get this trim figured out. Again, having a good look at the reference, having a thorough understanding before we lay anything down, measuring it twice to make sure it's nice, double checking and redoing that tip making sure that the spear is the same as what you'd see on the actual car. And then a little bit of masking tape around the pinstripe tape just to hold everything down, making sure nothing slides. And some sharpening techniques for the water-soluble pencils. This will come in handy momentarily. But for now, let's move everything off the car and mask up this puppy. Um, one of the things I like to do is I'll put the paper onto the car and lay the tape on there and then move the paper to where I need to put it. Sometimes it's easier just using a nice long flat surface to lay that tape on the edge of that paper rather than just trying to put it exactly where you want it. And just filling any remainder areas with that double wide tape and now on to the rear. And we're just going to do this in photos. I didn't want to film the whole thing. It was too much to film. It really is just repeat what we did on the grill. You measure, you pinstripe tape, you masking tape, and then you mask it with the paper. And then we get good old Mark to start laying down some paint. And uh, I think that's where we're going to wrap up this video, guys. I'm going to let Mark do his thing. I'm going to let this paint dry. And we will come in for video number two. And we'll start doing the grill and the tail fin. And lastly, we'll tackle the chrome. And a big shout out to Mark from Ross Custom Paints for allowing me to come into his shop, use his booth, use his time to get this job done. Thank you, my friend. And for those of you looking for uniforms for the Bloodshot Army, Hit the link in the description for the Spreadshirt page and soldier on down and show your support. And don't forget guys, we've got more airbrushing beginner series, airbrushing hacks, and plenty of tutorials. Share and tell the world the Bloodshot Army is here to spray. Cheers.